this morning experience the Lord just dropped in my heart all week my sister who has just continued for uh, these last COVID months to lead us and usher us into the presence of the Lord with these amazing worship leaders but her husband is in the hospital and she has been caregiving and she's been mothering and grandmothering and doing all the things that she has had to do and hasn't, hasn't stopped one moment of being on her post. And the Lord dropped in my heart that we should pray for her. Amen. That we should extend our prayers to strengthen her and to usher her through these moments. So, Father, in the name of Jesus, will you all stretch your hands toward her, please? In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, we thank you for the power of the Holy Ghost. We thank you for the wisdom of the Holy Ghost. 
We thank you for the truth of the Holy Ghost. And we thank you for the endurance of the Holy Ghost. And we thank you that the Holy Ghost lives big in Ruth Sinclair. The Holy Ghost lives big. And the Holy Ghost moves on her and uses her over and over again. So now we know she's no stranger to the Holy Ghost. And we just are asking in agreement this morning. Our virtual audience and those of us that are here live, we are standing in agreement for a quick turnaround. We are standing in agreement for Michael's complete healing. We are standing in agreement for him to be discharged from the hospital and to come home and to heal and to walk through these doors without pain. And we ask you, mighty precious Holy Spirit, to quicken his mortal body. We thank you for mind regulations. We thank you right now in the name of the Lord Jesus that his mind is regulated and his mind is focused on his healing and focused on his God and focused on his miracle and focused on his future. And Father, we thank you that the blood of the Lord Jesus covers that room and covers that man from the top of his head to the soles of his feet. And we stand together in agreement with his wife. We stand in agreement with your vessel. We stand in agreement with your Levite servant. We stand in agreement with her that everything that she has laid on the altar for her husband and for her children and for her grandchildren shall not be cut off. In the mighty name of Jesus. And we say yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Let the heavens open. Let the heavens open and shut the mouth of hell. Shut the mouth of hell and raise Michael up and strengthen Ruth. Strengthen her. Strengthen her on the inside. On the inside. And give her grace for this season. And God, we thank you. And we give you praise. And we give you glory. Somebody shout glory. Somebody shout it is so. Somebody shout glory. Strengthen your servant. Give her grace. Give her endurance. Give her faith back. Faith for this. Faith through it. Faith for it. In the name of Jesus. And we thank you. Come on somebody. Give God praise. Give God praise. Faith. 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 That can move any mountain. Faith. That can conquer anything. Faith. Faith. That will not shrink. Faith. That will not fail. Faith. That will not collapse. Faith. That endures. Faith. That endures. And we thank you. Now bless her body. Don't let her body break down. Don't let her mind break down. Don't let her body break down. As she moves back and forth. Give a favor on a job. Don't let her miss a paycheck. Don't let her miss a paycheck. Let every bill be paid. Let every bill be paid. In the name of Jesus. Don't let her mind be worried about anything. In the name of Jesus. Oh God. Move on her behalf. As she has stood behind this sacred desk. Week after week after week after week. Pour it back in. Pour it back on. Pour it back through. Pour it. Pour it. Pour it back. There's a reservoir. There's a reservoir for faithfulness. There is a bank account that 
that she has in glory for faithfulness. Faithfulness! Faithfulness! Shall not be cut off. And we thank you. And we glorify you. And we honor you. In the mighty name of Jesus. Now Holy Ghost, get in Michael's leg. Get in Michael's knee. Get in Michael's foot. Holy Ghost, get in Michael's liver. Holy Ghost, get in Michael's pancreas. Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost, get in Michael's heart. Holy Ghost, get in Michael's brain. Holy Ghost, get in Michael's skin. Holy Ghost, get in Michael's blood. Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost, the same power that raised Jesus from the dead begin to quicken his mortal body and we thank you somebody clap your hands and give the Lord praise and for your miracle and for your miracle those of you that are watching your miracle is coming your miracle is coming your miracle is coming your breakthrough is coming your healing is coming your deliverance is coming your financial breakthrough is coming your favor is coming in the mighty name of jesus the same spirit that is moving now is moving in your house moving in your car moving on your job in the name of jesus Rise and be healed in the name of Jesus. Just let faith arise in your soul. Rise and be healed in the name of Jesus lift your hands he will cleanse you and he'll make you whole rise and be In the name of Jesus, just let faith, let it arise in your soul, yes Lord, rise and be. of Jesus <laughs> he will cleanse you and he'll make you whole thank you for being a healing Jesus Thank you for being a saving Jesus. Thank you for being a way making Jesus. Thank you for redeeming situations that look bleak. That's the kind of Jesus you are. Thank you for being a forgiving Jesus. Ooh. Oh yes, oh yes, oh yes. You will cleanse us. You can cleanse us. Come on, lift your hands. He will cleanse us. And he'll make you whole. Thank you.
you, Lord. Come on and give the Lord some praise. Hallelujah. I don't hear you. Come on, come on. Keep, keep your faith high. Keep your faith high. He will cleanse you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Waymaker, miracle worker, promise keeper, light in the darkness. Uh, that is who you are. I hear that in the spirit. You are waymaker, miracle worker, promise keeper, light in the darkness, my God, that is who you are. <laughs> Lift your hands and tell him now, waymaker, miracle worker. in the darkness my God that is who you are if you know it to be true sing it loud oh he is waiting sing it loud you are a promise keeper light in the darkness my God that your body. God is a way maker. Jesus, come on. Move on our behalf. Know it for myself. My God. Yes. Hey, hey. Hey, hey. Yes. Come on and believe it. What you say. Yeah. <laughs> 
is my God. Come on, that is who you are. Nobody, I worship you. Hey, shut up, You are here. Hey, hey. Healing broken hearts. Hey, come on up, oh, shake it. I, I worship you. Come on, come on. <laughs> I worship you. Come on and clap your hands. You. I worship you. I don't hear nobody. Somebody help. I worship you. It's a good and You are here. Yes, you are. And you're healing broken bodies, broken dreams, broken hearts, broken lives. I worship you. You. you are, you are, you are Waymaker, Miracle Worker, you're a promise keeper, light in the darkness, my God, my God, that is who you are. Proving yourself to me over and over again. I know it for myself. Your way maker, miracle worker, promise keeper, light in the darkness, my God. That is who you. Everybody sing it with me now. What is he? Shakata! Oh God! You are a way maker! I'm gonna 
Come on, clap your hands. Say it with me. I sing him to. I want you to receive Apostle Avery Cotton. He's no stranger to us. He is at home in this house working out for me. Come on, say it one more time. You can give whenever you're ready. Don't forget. I, the altar is always open for giving. If you're giving online, you can give it any time. Give now. And I know, I know, I know, I know he'll work it out. If you want to give electronically, those of you that are at home, while the power of God is falling, I've seen him do it. And I know he is at home in this house. I want you to clap your hands and receive him as you say it again. I've seen him. I've... Come on, Apostle Avery Cotton. today for his precious son Jesus and we thank God for the presence of the Lord that is in this place I said the presence of the Lord is in this place I said the presence of the Lord is in this place I want you to understand that you are not encountering or experiencing a presence of visitation, but you are experiencing a presence that is residential. Ah, God. I said you're experiencing a presence that is residential, and you have to understand how to honor a presence that lives in a place. If you don't honor the presence that lives in a place correctly, then the presence that lives in the place will depart from that place. And then you'll have to sing songs like, come by here, my Lord, come by here. But thank God you don't have to sing songs where you're asking him to come and visit because he's already here. Can't you feel his presence? He's already here. All you've got to do is open up your heart. For God is already here. 
Yes, Lord. Before I go. Oh, yeah, 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 yes. My God. He did it your Shandaba. He did it your Sikandaba. Hey. Ha, 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 ha. Yes, Lord. Now I have an announcement to make. And the announcement is something that you would hear if you ever fly anywhere. The captain would get on, the pilot would get on the speaker and say, you, we've been cleared for takeoff. And Holy Ghost Cathedral, I've not been here in about two years. But I hear the spirit of grace saying you've been cleared for takeoff. <laughs> You won't understand that unless you've grown weary being in a holding pattern. But for those of you that have stayed the course, and for those of you that have stayed in the purpose and the plan of God, the spirit of grace says you've been cleared for takeoff. We honor the spirit of the Lord today for the precious bishop, her grace, the honorable Bishop Carletta J. Vaughn. Let's thank God for her. Let's thank God for Pastor Shannon. Thank God for the psalmist. Auntie Ruth, we love you, Ruth. Hallelujah. Thank God for Pastor Imani Carthon, all of the pastors, all of the saints of God. My brother is here, Bishop Iron Whitthorn, and I want him to just come. Now, I just, now listen, I, I, I got to preach. So just leave me just... Just leave me just a little bit, okay? I want him to come and I want him to sing this song for, and I, I want him to sing this song for Bishop Vaughn. Come on, Bishop. Let's receive him as he comes. Sing just a little bit of this song for Bishop Vaughn, and then I'm going to come back and preach the word of God. Clap your hand, everybody. Jesus already here. Hey, too late. Now I'm just playing. <laughs> Let me hear A flat, nephew. Use me, Lord, in your service. Draw me nearer each and every day. You know I'm willing. I'm willing to run all the way. Oh, if I fall down, fall down while I'm striving, please don't be angry. Pick me up and let me stand. You know I'm willing. Every day, you know I'm willing, I'm willing to run all the way. to my seat. Come on. All the way. All the way. All the way. All the way. You know I'm willing. I'm willing to run. All the way. Thank <laughs> you. 
Please don't be angry. Pick me up and let me stand. You know I'm willing. I'm willing to run all the way. We get ready here to preaching, but I need the choir one last time. Clap your hand and say, all the way. All the way. Every step of the way, you know I'm willing. Hey, I'm willing to run all the way. Yeah. If I fall down, fall down while I'm striving. Please don't be angry. Pick me up. And let me stand You know I'm willing I'm willing to run You know I'm willing I'm willing to run God knows I'm willing yeah, To run All the way We're going quickly into the word of God. How? We're going quickly into the word of God. Get your Bibles in your hand if you can. Oh God, oh Jesus, Prophet Ruth, we gonna go there. It's just, just, just give me just a minute. We gonna go there. I promise you. I want Luke the fifth chapter. Luke the fifth chapter. This is a Bible preaching church. <laughs> We are not biblically ignorant at the Holy Ghost Cathedral. Luke, the fifth chapter. When you have Luke, the fifth chapter, please say amen. And we're going to look at one verse of scripture. And that verse of scripture is Luke 5 and verse number four now when he had left speaking he said unto Simon launch out into the deep and let down your nets for a catch for a drought look at your neighbor and tell your neighbor I've got another set of problems that I didn't expect. Tell them what kind of problems you have. Say, I have a problem because I've shifted into a season of instructions and miracles. Tell your other neighbor, I've shifted into a season of instruction and miracles. Clap your hands. You may be seated in the presence of God. You have to understand what season that you're in. There is a word in the dictionary that is the word overwhelmed. It means to load, to heap, to treat or address with an overpowering or excessive amount of anything. 
to load, heap, treat, or address with an overpowering of excessive amount of anything, overwhelm. The Bible tells us that faith is the substance of things hoped for, and it is the evidence of things not seen. Faith for many of us in this room today is a challenge that absolutely confronts our confidence. It confronts our assurance and our expectation. For many believers, the difficulty of faith has everything to do with commitment. It has nothing to do with the reception of the evidence or the substance, but it has everything to do with the process of getting from what God said to getting God to do what he said, and which causes us to move in a place called commitment, consistency, or integrity. Many have faith to believe for salvation. Romans 10, 9 through 10 says, If thou believe in thine heart and confess with thy mouth, then you are saved. This expression of faith has everything to do with the believer having an encounter with God. But there is more in your salvific experience than an encounter with God. The more that is ordained for us is tied to our experience with God. Look at your neighbor and tell your neighbor, I haven't just had an encounter, but I've had an experience with God. Therefore, I can sing all that I have needed. Your hand hath provided. I can declare that because I have experience with God. Romans 1, 17, Galatians 3 and 11, Hebrews 10 and 38 declares that the just, shall live by faith. Living by faith is a prerequisite to obtaining the manifestation for more. I know we think it's laying out in the floor. That's not the prerequisite. I know we think that it is sowing $25 seeds to Facebook phenoms, but that's not the prerequisite. The prerequisite to obtaining more is you have to commit your life to another law. Uh-oh. You have to commit your life to another law because by it, it being faith, the worlds were framed and everything in it remains because of the law that was established in Genesis 1. Living by faith is not only about results, but it is about requirements. All right, all right. See, the amens got real low right there. Living by faith, we just want the results of faith. But God is saying, I want you to have the requirements that are necessary prerequisites for you to obtain the results of faith. 2 Corinthians 5 and 7 says, we walk by faith and not by sight. Being governed by sight is tied to the work of man. But being under the law of faith, to connects us to the administration of faith. And the administration of faith is tied to the work of God in heaven. Manifesting in the earth for his glory. The results are not so that you can be popular. Or so that you can be on a magazine cover. Or so that you can be in lights and camera and have a, an entourage. But the results are so that God can be glorified in the earth. You have the power to be a witness and you cannot be a witness without results look at somebody and tell them I want the results you've got to understand that 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 favor is the currency in the earth that is released on behalf of the believer as a result of the believer aligning themselves to the rec the prerequisites and the requirements of faith the times that we are experiencing right now are times that have been influenced by the pandemic. The times that we are dealing with right now, they are, they are times that are influenced very highly by COVID-19 and all of the different variants thereof. And, and you've got to be honest and say that your times are also influenced by unfulfilled prophecy. 
Y'all don't want to say nothing in here. Uh -huh. Some of us don't even want another prophetic word because we've got so many that we sold for, that we fasted for, that we prayed and believed God for and believed his prophets, the servants, and it's still, it's been 17 years and they told you seven days. Y'all ain't saying nothing. An unfulfilled prophecy. Dealing with the pandemic will make you teeter and totter. Not in your, it'll make you teeter and totter in your walk with God. You've got to understand something that we are dealing with an enemy invading the church called skepticism. Because if you have that kind of power, why have so many of our loved ones died? Why have so many of our pastors and leaders and bishops slept away? If you've got all that kind of Holy Ghost, if you are that discerning, come on, y'all ain't saying nothing in here. The devil is not concerned about you wearing a mask because you can still shout with a mask over your mouth. But what the enemy is concerned about and what he is targeting right now is your belief that God is God. Because your family members are being, being afflicted with stuff that prayer isn't moving. Y'all don't want to be honest and tell the truth. Because people on your, in your family are being assaulted and attacked by, by demons that, that, the, that the intercessors are not being able to penetrate through. The enemy is after your faith. Because if you stop believing that God is. You won't ever receive the reward, results and the rewards of God being. You've got to understand, child of God, many of us come to church like Thomas. Uh, if you are the Christ, let me see some signs. Oh, y'all don't, don't come to the Holy Ghost Cathedral like that? I understand. But in Maryland, they come to church and they say, if you be a prophet, really, really prophesy to me. If you, if you really got a healing ministry, well, I'm going to bring my unnamed sickness to your church and see if you can pick up the... Oh, Y'all ain't saying nothing here. We become honest skeptics. But can I remind you of something, child of God, in 1st, 2nd Corinthians 1 and verse 20, it says all of the promises... All of the promises of God, they are yes and they are amen. Will you lean on your neighbor on the right side of you and tell your neighbor, I've got a yes on my life. Lean on your neighbor on the left side of you and tell that neighbor, I've got an amen on my life. Ah, You might want to lay hands on your own spirit and tell your own spirit, I've got a yes and I've got an amen on my life. The yes and the amen of God is not valid or authentic or legitimate until his name, power, ability, integrity, and dedication has been brought into question. Right now, we ought to thank the devil. I know that is crazy, but you ought to thank the devil for putting skepticism in your mind. You ought to thank the devil for delaying the manifestation of your promise because now, 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 God has decided he's made a decision that I'm not going to let the devil outdo me. I know we've seen many people die as a result of COVID-19, but can I prophesy and tell you that COVID-19 is a divine opportunity for an emergence of the resurrectionist. I'm not talking about the revivalist. I'm talking about the resurrectionist that can walk into a room and though you are I said, uh-huh, I'm dealing with a da bakasha. I need a second da I know you 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 can't thank the devil because you're busy rebuking him, but you need to thank him for setting the stage for the greatest manifestation of God's strength and power in this age and in this time. Devil, I wanna thank you for afflicting my mind. Devil, I wanna thank you. I want to thank you. Because 
now there is an intentionality that is in place. I said there's an intentionality that is in place. There's not a period, there's a comma. And at the end of the sentence, there will be an exclamation. There will not be, y'all ain't saying nothing in here. In other words, God said, now take that. It's not a comma that ends the sentence. It's a period, a question mark, or an exclamation. Y'all ain't saying nothing. And God is setting the stage for an exclamation mark. You better study your English. I said God is setting the stage for an exclamation mark. In our text, we find In our text, we find that Jesus has come into the lives of Peter and the other fishermen who were committed to the occupation of catching fish. They were committed to catching fish because their occupation provided resources for them to live. These men had responsibilities that required them to endure the tumultuous sun. It required them to deal with the schizophrenia of fish. <laughs> it required them to feel the demand for profit by those who were at home. They were in the boat, but you can feel the demand of people who are sitting at home waiting on you to come back with a catch. <laughs> and, and, and they're out here with the sun and they're out here with schizophrenic fish and they're dealing with the demand of a wife and children saying we need new clothes. Oh, I need hair. I need eyelashes. So, so don't come in here. Y'all ain't saying nothing, Pastor Shannon. I, I, I need some red bottoms. You, 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 you've got to catch enough so that I can go to the spa. Because uh, I'm tired. Mm -hmm. Y'all ain't saying nothing. And, and you've got to understand that as they set out that day to catch the fish, they had considered the sun. They had considered the schizophrenia of the fish. And they had considered the profit of their loved ones, the demand of their loved ones. But they had not considered the idea that they would do what they were graced to do. What they had been called to do what they had been anointed to do, what they had been trained to do, and there be no results. They did not consider, they did not get in the boat saying today is not going to be a good day. They did not get in the boat saying, I'm going to have to disappoint my wife when I come back in. I, I better prepare for an argument. That's, no, 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 no. They didn't get in the boat saying the fish haven't taken their medication today and, 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 and they're not going to be attracted to our, to our net they, 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 they got in the boat with the expectation that if we do what we've always done we will get what we've always needed but they get in the boat and they're met with absence. They've got the line set. They've got the nets prepared. But the fish are not attracted to their nets. And they don't understand why. 
they, 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 they've endured the sun. They've been out there all day long. And, 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 and they didn't catch one thing. But the Bible says to us that Jesus borrows the boat of Peter. Now, now y'all don't want to put this in context, but I would feel some kind of way about you borrowing something of mine that has not produced for me. If you wanted to rent it, I'd have no problem with it. But you're asking me to borrow space that, is, that has been reserved for fish. <laughs> the Bible says that when he had finished teaching, he says to Peter, launch. It's closing time. Can y'all get the bishop a Bible for me, a, a microphone for me? He says, launch. But we done put everything away and we're headed to shore. Uh, we, we, we done got hungry now. Our families are expecting us to return and, and, and I don't know how we going to tell them. We didn't catch nothing. What you going to tell your wife, bruh? Can I come to your house and spend the night? Because she get real crazy, y'all. How about, ain't, there's no room in the inn, so we can't get a Marriott, y'all ain't saying. What would you going to tell your children when your children are, are standing out there ready to say, Daddy, what you got for me? Shannon, Mama, you went to Africa. Would you bring me back from Africa? <laughs> Disappointment. Yes, yes. It's now governing their spirit. But they don't get the opportunity to remain disappointed long because they get an instruction. They don't get to get into a depressed place because they get an instruction. They don't get to remain frustrated because instruction comes. And when instruction comes, instructions bring faith. He says, launch out into the deep. That's not the faith. The faith is the drug that will come as a result of your obedience. See, he says, Bishop, read it like we over there at 14th. Luke 5, verse number 4. Now, when he had left speaking, Luke 5 and 4, when Come he on, finished sir. speaking, yes, sir. He, said to Simon, he said to Simon, put out into the deep water. Launch into the deep waters. Come on. And let down thy nets for a drop. And this is what Simon says back to Jesus, verse 5. Come on. Simon answered, Master, we yes. have worked all night. We've tired all night long. We tired now. Are you crazy? Uh -uh. I'm, I'm, I, uh, I'm going home to eat my last fish sandwich. What did you do? What, huh? Y'all ain't said nothing. Bishop, I need y'all to come to prayer. Oh, that's for the intercessors, right? I'm not on the intercessory team because I'm a part of the presbytery team. So, because I'm an elder, that is not my calling. <laughs> Y'all ain't saying nothing. Because, uh, 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 see, I've been, I've been doing other stuff. Y'all ain't saying nothing. He said, we've been calling all night. Come on. And haven't caught anything. You just got here. 
Ain't that some of our attitudes? You just got here. And you got the nerve to tell me to go deeper? What gives you the deputization? <laughs> Who gave you the permission? First of all, who are you? This is my occupation. I've been doing this for 30 years. And, and, and I heard you was a teacher. I'm a fisher man. How are you going, how in the hell? Come on, you black people. Don't y'all in here look at me like that. How in the world are you going to try to tell me there's another level in worship Don't tell me there's another dimension in prophecy. I've been prophesying since I came out of my mother's womb. Y'all ain't saying nothing. He said, we have caught nothing. And you are charging us. You are challenging us. You are upsetting us. You are confronting our comfort. Because while we were moving to shore, we got comfortable with our excuses. We got comfortable with our justifications. We got comfortable being okay without it. Y'all ain't saying nothing. We got comfortable being okay in church without crutches lined up on the wall. We got comfortable without medical reports being stamped on the walls of our sanctuary. We got comfortable with our saints dying of incurable cancer. But the Spirit of God says, I am interrupting your comfort. He's all right till she started preaching Pentecost in a pandemic. I mean, now, Bishop, she done kind of lost her mind a little bit. Don't you think so? I mean, I mean, don't you? I mean, she really expects us to engage like that? I mean, doesn't she understand I have a job? Oh, I'm in the wrong church, excuse me. Doesn't she understand that it doesn't take all of that? I mean, we, we, we've had Holy Spirit teaching. Let's see, I think it was 10 years, didn't she teach that 10 years ago? She went crazy then, but now it's like worse. It's worse, because every morning I wake up and there's Bishop. Come on in, good morning Holy Spirit, gracious Spirit of God. I don't want to see Bishop when I first wake up. I don't want that to be my first notification. Come on, Auntie Ruth, don't leave me out here by myself. And she has the expectation that we are going to be on there for 50 days. Now she want to do a camp. Just when I got okay with waking up at 7 a.m., now she wants again. Oh, my God. Bishop, thus said the Lord, wait on the camp meeting. COVID is out here. I hear nothing. But camp meeting, God wants to do the miraculous during the pandemic. We've got to have Pentecost during a pandemic. We, 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 we bishop. We, we. Oh, Lord. Florida, too. Oh, 
See, she can do that. She don't have no job, see. See, she can do that because, see, 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 she don't understand, see, Bishop is rich. See how they start, see how they, see how they start lying and prophesying at the same time? You know, Bishop is rich. You know, did I let, you, you seen all them people get that thousand dollars at camp meeting? See, Bishop got that money. Uh, uh-huh. see. Uh-oh. Turn your minds off. I can hear you now. Bishop, now she wants us to get a plane ticket and go to Florida. Don't she know how expensive hotels are in St. Petersburg? And then she wants us to, we can't even rest when we get there. We got to hit the ground running. She want me to labor and won't even give me a piece of paper. I'm trying not to come down here and walk this floor. I mean, Lord, what does she expect for us to do? Just be caught up? Yes. Because if you get caught up in the spirit, he'll snatch you out of your flesh. Y'all didn't miss, y'all miss what I said. If you get caught up in the spirit, he'll snatch you right out of your flesh. And the Bible says, if you saw to the spirit, you got to sow to the spirit in order to reap from the spirit. And what the spirit does is the spirit does something for you that your flesh can't do. Come on, read, brother bishop. But because you say so. But. Because you've given me an instruction. Uh Uh-huh. I will let down the nets. See, you got to understand. You, I feel, I, I, I'm, I'm going to lose it. 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 He said, he said, listen, nevertheless, at thy word, thy word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. The entrance of your word brings light and the light of your word brings life unto me. The law of the Lord is perfect to the converting of the soul. He says, I'm going to let down my net because of your word. Simon had the gift of presence and the honor of having an encounter with the teacher. Yet he was troubled by the instruction. He understood that he had already done what was required to obtain what his flesh could produce. But Jesus is saying to Simon, there is something greater. There is something more. There is something exceeding abundantly above all you could ever ask, think, pray, or imagine. And in order to get it, you're going to have to respond favorably. In order to receive it, you're going to have to respond favorably to my word so see yes and the bible says you've got to understand that jesus was connecting peter to what apostle paul had when he said i has not seen ear has not heard neither has it entered into the heart of men the things that i have prepared for you what i have prepared for you it's going to require the Bible says in Deuteronomy 28 that there are 10 blessings that would hit your life as a result of obedience. And I want to prophesy in this room this morning and tell 35 of you that in this room you are on a collision course with Jehovah John. I want to talk to 45 of you and tell you that you are walking right up on the El Shaddai. Say yes. Say yes. Say yes. Say yes. Hey, come on. That's 
my friend, I think, right there. Like, come, 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 friend. Come, come. You, you come out, come, come, come. I can't, some of y'all is just, y'all need to engage real quick. That's my friend, the evangelist. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Listen, evangelist, watch this. Deuteronomy 28 says there are 10 rewards. 10. Today is the 10th month and the 10th day. I was going to preach something else, but, 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 I wish there were some people that understood the significance of numbers. He said there are 10 benefits. There are 10 rewards for being obedient. Now you don't get them because you say, I heard it. You get them because you did it. Come up here, brother, Mother, Mother Bishop. See, it's 10. You heard it. Then you said, y'all buy me some cameras. Give me some lights. Because I, I heard something. What'd you hear, Bishop? Don't worry about that. Just, just be ready. Just, just get ready. Because cause Holy Ghost is getting ready to move in an unusual way. We're getting ready to. I, I, but Bishop, people are dying. I don't care. I heard something. Bishop. Bishop, 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 why, why are you going to stir up so much controversy? Because I heard something. And if you would get up to where I am, you'd hear it too. But because you're so low, you can't hear what I hear. And so therefore, I can't put the requirement of obedience on you because you haven't heard what I heard. But there are ten blessings. The field, the home, the city, your children, I'll protect you in times of war. He said they'll come at you one way. See, y'all don't, see, 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 see you, you sound like you read the Bible, so she's ready to take off running, and I'm ready to run too, because he said, blessed shall you be in the city. Blessed shall you be in the field. Blessed shall you be when you come. Blessed shall you be when you go. Blessed. How? He caught it up. shall be the work of your hands blessed shall be the fruit of your body they'll come against you one way but I'll protect you so until they'll flee seven ways cause when you're obedient when you're obedient uh oh I feel something now he said you're your vats will overflow. Get Deuteronomy 28. Because maybe, maybe they'll get your voice. Because I got to pull this in this room. When you obey the instruction, what you do is you prepare yourself for divine endorsement. Now you got the endorsement of Edie Hosa on your life. You got the endorsement of Mother Boyd on your life. You got the endorsement of Oral Roberts University on your life. 
Yeah, you, you, you got the endorsement of, of your father on your life. You got the endorsement of, 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 of John Cherry on your life. And, 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 and folk from all different denominations. But this instruction connected you to a, he could swear by none other. So he swore by himself. Now I might just be here for her, I don't know, but he, he said, this don't have nothing to do with Eda Hosea. You honored them in life and death. This has nothing to do with Mother Boyd. You honored them in death and in life. This has nothing to do with all. This has nothing to do with John Church. This has nothing to do with none of that. Because guess what? They're stopped. And you got to get in the right kind of posture to tap into the spirit of Edith Hosea. I'm just talking to you right now. He said, but, but when you follow the instruction, you set yourself up for divine endorsement. What is divine endorsement? Endorsement is signature. The root word to signature is signet. What do you use a signet for? To approve. Bishop, I'm trying, I'm trying, Bishop, I'm trying. He says you use a signet to approve and to authenticate. He's not going to use the memory of Edhosa, Mother Boyd, and all of them that you honor and respect. No, 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 no. He said, I'm going to use my signature now. And when they come up against you, they're going to come up against me. <laughs> nah, 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 nah. In other words, you prepare yourself for a blank check. Holy Ghost Cathedral. Apostle Vaughn. You have grown so comfortable in your administrative Episcopal grace <laughs> that you have forgotten mm. before you were a bishop, mm. you were an apostle. Yes. 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 And now that the spirit of apostolicity is kicking in your belly again, you're struggling because you have been called to birth out, but you want to oversee and administrate what you're birthing. But the Lord is saying it's time for you to allow yourself to become fully accepting and embracing of the apostolicity because you now must birth. Yes. And appoint others to administrate it. There's coming, it's not easy for you, but there's coming a, a really a comfortable grace on you for delegation. Who these hands is on fire? My God, them hands is on fire. I said there's a divine endorsement. A divine endorsement says incurable cancers, unnamed sicknesses. Inoperable diseases. Y'all, divine endorsement gives you name to what has not been named. Divine endorsement gives you the wisdom of the mind of the spirit. Divine endorsement. What does he say in Deuteronomy 28? If you fully obey the Lord your God. Come on. And carefully follow all his commandments yes. to give you today. Yes. The Lord your God will set you high above all the nations there's on an the earth. Wait a minute. There's an elevation that's coming. Yes, God. I said there's an elevation. Oh, listen. If you're, in ministry, if, you, if you're an elder, a minister, or whatever, anything you are in this church, I want you to stand up. If you're not standing, I want you to stand up. If you're visiting, I want you to say, because see, see, he ain't just reading. He's releasing the prophetic word over your life. 
And that word is declaring to you that I'm going to set you high. There's an ascension coming to this place. There's an elevation that's coming. Lord, take me higher. I want to go, Jesus. Come on, what does he say? All these blessings will come upon you. All these blessings. And accompany you. Yes. If you obey the Lord your God. It's not just going to land on you, but it's going to walk with you. So everywhere the soul of your feet trod, you're going to take blessing with you. Say yes. Say yes. The blessing is coming your way. Bring him in on your worship. Bring him in. Somebody come hold this door. Yes! 
Yes, God. Breakthrough. Breakthrough. Oh, oh, Jesus. Miracles. Miracles. All of my life. Some of y'all ain't moved because you've been stuck. Some of y'all ain't moved because you're rebellious. Some of y'all ain't moved because you're stubborn and stiff-necked. But you're going to have to engage for this. Yes, God. You're going to have to get out of your row. Yes. And you're going to have to walk. You're going to have to walk some. Mother said, you got to go, son. You got to go, son. You, see, see, I'm not here for you. I'm here because a Sikh is in the house. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And when there's a Sikh in the house, the Sikh calls for water. Can I? Bishop Withon, Bishop Vaughn, you'll understand this. Pastor Amani, you'll understand this. Some of y'all understand this. The cloud, the cloud is in the house. You want to receive from it, but you got to agitate it. You want the rain that comes out the cloud, but you got to agitate the cloud. And rain doesn't come from the sky. Rain comes from the ground. I said rain doesn't come from the sky. Rain comes from the ground. So, if you're on the ground, you need to start agitating the cloud so that as the cloud comes, the cloud starts alerting you with lightning and rumbling. There's a rumble here that says the cloud is moving this direction. And in order for, uh-oh, Bishop, clouds don't move when the heavens are closed. Bishop, apostle, let me declare over you and this house. The heavens are open. Michael is right now. Whatever hospital Sinclair is in right now, we send in the cloud from Holy Ghost Cathedral. There would have not been a sound from heaven without the heavens opening. There can be no crowning, no birthing without the cervix doing what? Opening. Any woman ever had, you had, you had two of them, right? They didn't come till your cervix opened up. So, heaven is dilating. To a pregnant woman, that's good news. Holy Ghost Cathedral, you're the pregnant woman. Pastor, heaven is dilating. I 
I see the head. I'm going to just need you to push one more time. Because I see the head. The head is crowning. You just got to push one more time. If you just push one more time, you're going to give birth. Yes, God. What it, what is there are twins, triplets, quads? What's five? Quintuplets? You're gonna give birth to more apostles. You're gonna give birth to more pastors. Birth to more prophets. Birth to more evangelists, birth to more teachers. There is another church. There's another birthing of another Holy Ghost cathedral. I, I see the head it's crowning. It's crowning healing. It's crowning breakthrough. The head is the manifestation of miracles. I said miracles are coming in this house. I said miracles. I said signs and wonders are going to reside in this house. Yes, Miracles, Miracles, signs, signs and, and wonders. wonders. Miracles, Miracles, signs, signs and, wonders. and wonders. Miracles, Miracles signs, signs and wonders. Miracles, Miracles, signs and wonders. Miracles, signs, signs wonders. When the water gets troubled, all you have to do is get in it. Some of these folks is like the man that's been that way for 38 years. I, he haven't come to me. He hadn't come to me. He didn't owe me yet. He didn't tie. Hey, get your She put her on. Where's the weather? He may not say oil and hanky. That's right. He might say, get in now. Yeah. And you, yeah. But nobody's going to help me. You're right. Because I'm pregnant too. Yeah. And I can't help you birth and stay pregnant while you deliver. I got to deliver with you. So you don't get no help. Holy Ghost is your midwife. And he said, you got to, mm, you got to bear down and you got to groan. You got to moan. Yeah, yeah. You got to moan. You got to groan in the spirit. You got to say, Whoa, whoa. 
can feel something kicking yes, down in my spirit. In my spirit. I can yes, feel something kicking yes, Lord. down in my heart. In my I can heart. feel something coming yeah, alive. Jesus. Oh, yeah, yeah, Jesus. Oh. Get them hankies. Hey. Yes, God. you to break it now. Give me that deliverance today. Give me that freedom today. Yeah. yeah. Oh, oh, Jesus. 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 Come on, clap your hand, everybody. Clap your hand. Clap your hand. Gotta get glad about it. Come on, let's praise him. Not too fast. Yes, Lord. Jesus, 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 have your way, have your way, have your way, have your way. My soul, my soul, my soul, my soul, giving you a yes, giving you a yes, yeah, 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 from the inside, down the old side. On the inside, ah! on the inside, my soul, my soul, Jesus, 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 my soul, my soul, I feel you, Lord, calling me, you're calling, calling to another place, calling, calling to another place, higher, come on, higher. Come on, higher, higher, come on, higher, 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 Lord, hear my prayer, hear my prayer, hear my prayer, hear my prayer. Jesus, catch it up, catch it up. Open that wound in the spirit. Oh, oh, oh yeah. Yeah, 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 Jesus, 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 see my sin, see my sincerity, see it, Lord, I'm open, I'm open, I'm open, I'm open, yes, Lord. Yes, Lord, my soul want to go higher. My soul want to go higher. My soul want to go higher. Higher, 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 
There's a place in the spirit. There's a place in the spirit. There's a place. Shoot me beyond my fault. Shoot me. Shoot me beyond. 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 Yes! Yeah, yeah. Take away all the fear. No fear. No fear. No fear. No fear. No fear. Oh! Hey! Oh, see No fear! Yeah, yeah! Gonna meet a man in the spirit. Gonna meet a man in the spirit. Yeah, yeah. Spirit in my belly. Wake up every gift now. Wake up every gift. Wake up every gift. Yes! 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. You see my desire. Meet my desire. Meet my desire. Meet my desire. Keep playing. Just bring it down some. Meet my desire. Meet my desire. Meet my desire. Ho! Yeah, 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 yeah. Meet my desire. Yeah, 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 yeah. You called me. You called me. You called me. You want me now. You want me as a young one. Jeez. Jeez. Yes, Lord. 
Yes, yes, Lord. 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 Jesus, shoot her to the outer limits. Shoot her to the outer limits. Shoot her to the outer limits. Hey, 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 hey. Every gift, let it come alive. The gift of prophecy. The gift of prophecy. Understanding a mystery. Understanding a mystery. Shoot him. Yay! Shoot her beyond the understanding. Shoot her beyond the years. Oh! Come on, praise him. Come on, praise him. Praise him. Praise him. Praise him. Praise him. Watch her. Watch her. Praise him. Yeah, Jesus. Come on. Come on. I need y'all to help. Moving. Oh! Oh! Give him a Holy Ghost encounter. Refill, 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 refill. Yeah! Jesus, 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 Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Hey. Yes, Lord. 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 My soul, my soul, my soul, my soul, my soul, my soul. Yes, Lord. Clap your hand, church. Yeah! Yeah, yeah, Jesus. Oh. Yes, Lord. We call them while they're young because they're strong. Jesus. Yes, Lord. Do it for our soul. He gonna take her out.
Yes, Lord. Jesus. Jesus. Hey. Yes, Lord.
Yes, Lord. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Under Baha. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Oba. Under the Baba Basita. Come on, church. Let's praise him. Clap your hand, everybody. Let's praise him. Praise him. Yeah, yeah. I'll keep this charge. Oh, I'll keep this charge. This charge. Yes, Lord. Yeah! Yeah! Yeah, yeah, yeah! Oh! Yeah, Jesus! Oh! Wake it up, wake it up, wake it up! Wake it up! Every gift! Every shot! Every gift, every gift, wake it up. No, 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 the old Wake it up. Yeah, Lord. Yeah. Come on, open your mouth. Yeah. 
Omega. Down at the altar. Down at the altar. Down on my knees. Come here, right? In, yeah, you. The teenager. She looked like a teenager anyway. Oh! 
ya 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 da ba ba shata. Hey, he did it your shit out of a hey. I said we got the victory I said we got some victory Okay, we, we better stay. Couldn't be contented until I found the Lord. And I began to moan and I moan. I moan all, all night, night long. long. Couldn't be contented until I found the Lord. I cried and I cried. Cried all night long. Listen. My soul couldn't be contented until I found the Lord. I need 30 people in this room to join me with a $100 seat offering. You may be watching via social media. Can you please put up on social media? How they can donate. I want every Go Tell It affiliate. Bishop Young. Bishop Designate Stevens. Those of you that are going to watch this broadcast. Bishop Herbert Jackson. I want every Go Tell It affiliate. I want... I want everybody that can and will in this room. I need at least 30 people to join me with a $100 seed offering. Mm-hmm. 30 of you to give a hundred dollar seed offering. Is this the bucket here that we need to use? Okay, thank you. Hallelujah. Now notice, Bishop, we have to use the right language. I said, I need... I didn't say the Lord said, but I need 30 people to give a hundred dollar seed offering. 
Nah, 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 nah. I didn't even fin- I didn't even finish my message. I didn't even get to the part about the part where they had so much they needed help. In other words, what they had been praying for, they no longer had to pray about. What are you going to do when the thing that you've been praying for, you no longer have to pray? What are you going to do when you don't have to pray and ask God to send you a praise team? They just show up. What are you going to do when you don't have to pray and ask God to underwrite the vision and and, and the money just shows up as a divine endowment? What are you going to do when you just, when you no longer have to pray for resources? If you're going to give $100, would you stand? Thank you. I know it's probably more people watching online than there are in here, but that's fine. 30 people to give a $100 seed offering. You may not have $100, but you got something. And I want you to get as close as you can. See, Peter had a challenge. The challenge was no longer fishing. But the challenge was what to do with what he got. That's a new problem. We don't have the problem. How am I going to do what God called me to do? And I don't have. But I want to tell you, turn him up. you're coming into a set of new problems. Y'all didn't hear what I said. And the word of God says it was so much until their boats began to sink. Can I tell you, We are headed into a season of shortage in America. If you haven't been stocking up on supplies, I want to encourage you to stock up on supplies. I don't tell you that so you'll get scared. I tell you that so you'll prepare. Prepare yourselves. The holiday season will be very interesting in our economy. We must begin to pray that the hands of flesh that are manipulating the systems of this world. See, they're telling us to pray, but they ain't telling us what to pray. And we need to pray that every hand of flesh that is manipulating the systems of this world would begin to become exposed because they're bringing unnecessary turbulence into the church. And some of us ain't got enough to make it. Services like these, you need to ask, can we have revival, Bishop? Can we please have revival? Because we need to sit under the, the weight of teaching. Can we please have, can we have all night shut in? Can we just shut in for three days, Bishop? Because we need to sit under the weight. We need to sit, we need a perpetual stirring of the waters. The only personality we need is Holy Ghost. Let me tell you something else. These prophets, they're running on empty because they've given their altars up for platforms. 
And this is why in days ahead, you're going to find a lot of confusion in the prophetic. But we're going to need the voice of the apostles to come and straighten out the confusion. And check this revelation. Prophets have become more addicted to mammon. Listen to the voice of your prophet and you will prosper. Listening to the voice of those prophets you're going to be unsteady and unstable. Y'all didn't like it, but it's the truth. They told us when we was kids, we don't eat everywhere. Because some of these folks ain't clean in their kitchen. Y'all ain't saying nothing. They ain't clean in the kitchen nor their bathrooms. Y'all ain't saying, come on now. See these folks going to the bathroom, not washing their hands and Y'all ain't saying nothing. Better stop eating all this stuff. Some of this stuff is defiling and contaminating your spirit. Steady yourself. Don't itch in your hearing. Be still and know that He is God. Come with your hundred dollars come with your hundred dollar seed I'm giving mine I'll never ask you to give what I don't to give myself thank you thank you I'm, I want to come tell me when you hear me? I didn't say worry about all that other stuff. I want to come. Just tell me when. She said, huh? I don't know how many I had. Okay, okay. Bless you. This from, okay, thank you. Thank you. How long you been at this church? You just got here? About a few months. Bishop, I want you to do something. How old are you? You're 27. At 27, what was you doing? Preaching. Will you do me a favor? Will you take her on the road with you? She knows she's got a call. You got to take her so that evangelist spirit will get on her. So she can learn. So she can see different moves of God. And <laughs> you can teach her like Mother Boyd taught you. How to hold the charge. You can teach her how to stretch her belly. Teach you how to oh! until that sound get down in that house. Hey, hey, how? Hey, hey! Can y'all just say it? Hey, 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 
Come on, help her. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, Jesus. Some of your little jealous spirits, I feel you now. She just got here. She ain't never took me nowhere. And with that spirit, you ain't never going. Say yes. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Hope I now. Yo, shine behind. Ho! Yeah, 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 yeah. Yes, Lord. Wait a minute. There's something moving over there. It's something moving back. It's something moving. It's, it's something moving. Point. Come on. There's another wave here. There's another wave here. Come on. Somebody jump. Somebody skip. Somebody run. There's another wave here. Lucia Spit that out of the ocean Sweetheart I want you to run Just run, just run Just run, yeah, 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 yeah Somebody go to running Oh If you didn't give the hundred, but you want to give something and you didn't give yet, just come, 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 come. Come on, there's a breakthrough here. Come, come, come. There's a move of God here. Come, come, come. Thank you. Come on. Bless you. Sweetheart, you're so pretty. Hey! Hi, sweetheart. You okay? Are you married? You married? What's your name? Maya. You're so pretty, Maya. Stubborn, though. <laughs> you're pretty, but you're stubborn. Bless you, sweetheart. Bless you. She said, I don't want you to hit me. Bishop, thank you. Thank you. Elder Paul. When apostle lays hands on this young man, heard the spirit say, you want oil? Bring the oil, young man. 
I heard the spirit say, if you will praise him in an explosion, if you'll praise God in an explosion, it's going to be an outpour. But you got to lose it. No, 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 y'all missing it. I said lose it. Go now, go now. Go up in a praise. Go up in a praise. He said, lose it. He said, lose it. Get up out of your seat. Get up out of your seat. Get up. Get up. And rejoice. There There is a host of seraphim. Holy, holy, holy. Just that part. They're getting in formation. To guard the presence. The spirit of holiness. I know it's late, but, but do y'all got time? Stretch out all over this sanctuary on your faces. Stretch out all over this sanctuary on your faces. Worship him. Become one with the seraphims today. Come on. 
on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. There's an incense being released here. Come on. For the Lord God Almighty. Come on. Come on, out of your belly. Come on, cry out. Come on. Fire falls on altars that are filled with sacrifice. Come on. Come on. Holy. Glory, hallelujah, hallelujah, come on, hallelujah, wonderful Jesus, your eyes. God in three persons. He's the blessed century. Nothing. As you rise on your feet, sing it now. Holy, holy. song 
blessed Trinity. As the musicians just play that, would you stand on your feet and give God a praise? Hallelujah. Come on, open your mouth and just clap your hands. I said clap your hands and open your mouth. You're celebrating the holiness of God. You're praising the holiness of God. You're honoring the holiness of God. Hallelujah. Cherubims and seraphims. Yeah, 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 yeah. Around, around that crystal sea. <laughs> Come on. Yeah. Only thou art whole. Come on. And you are me. Which one? Come on, which one? And it, come on, uh, evermore shall be, and we say. And now let the blood of Jesus be traction to our tires. As we lift our communion before the Lord and we get ready to leave, we seal every action and every word and every motion of the Holy Ghost that moved through the apostle of the Lord Jesus, through the prophet of the Lord. We seal it we take our communion and we open it up now and we say Lord this is your body your body that has been broken for us and we take it now we lift it up and we break it and take it now to eat it all because he told us to do it twice a day every day until this pandemic is over and now we lift the cup he said, this is my blood and everything that you have heard, seen and experienced today is sealed and satisfied by my blood. Drink ye all of it. Hallelujah. Now we leave this place, this sacred holy place. Hallelujah. Oh, and there may I of Jesus be traction to our tires. The angels of the Lord will go before us and the great host of heaven will come behind us and be our rear guard. We give God all the glory. We ask that you would protect Apostle Cotton, that you would keep his body, mind, 
everything about him strong for the assignment that is on his life. Recompense him as only you can. You pay him back. For what he has released and deposited in this house shall never die. And the twain shall never be broken. We give you praise. Take us through our week this week, oh God. Without any accidents or incidents, without sickness and disease. Bring us back to the appointed place at the appointed time. To our virtual audience, those of you that are far away, those of you that are near, the same covenant that is in this house is in your house. And now, oh God, we thank you that you will keep us in your grip and forever hold us in your gaze until we meet again to you be all glory, honor and power praise and thanksgiving until we meet again in Jesus name Amen and the peace of the Lord is with you come on and give the Lord a praise before you leave Make sure that your tithe, your offering, and your special seed has been given before you leave. Please join us every Tuesday at 7 p.m. on the conference call line. If you are not connected to our uh, text service, all you have to do is do it now. You can text Cathedral to 55469, hit send. But join us on the conference call line Tuesdays. We are going through the book of Romans and our elder is leading us through that. Don't forget that. At 12 o'clock on Saturdays, the mothers pray on that same conference line. But you are welcome to join as well. Amen. Those are the announcements. Don't forget that camp meeting, December the 2nd, 3rd, 4th, and 5th. And yes, I want you to come. Yes, I do want you to buy a ticket. And yes, I do want you to get a hotel room. And yes, I do want you to register in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. And if you launch out into the deep, you'll have, a, you'll have a problem you never expected. You'll have surplus and overflow like never before. This is the hour of obedience, folks. And I'm not talking about obey some of it. I'm talking about obey all of it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Last right now before you leave, Lord, give me a spirit to obey. Give me a spirit to obey. Come on, out loud. Give me a spirit to obey. Thank you, Father. Y'all, God bless you. We love you so much. Join us tomorrow morning, 7 a.m. Eastern Pentecost in a pandemic redooms. And we'll be right back. Yes, Lord, we'll be right back in Jesus' name. Have a super week. God bless you. Elders and leaders, presbyters, see me right now with your absent self. Yes.